Right, I know what you're thinking, yeah, it is an alarm clock, but this one's a little bit different, and I'm going to go through that right now. So, first of all, it's a dual alarm, yeah, nothing special about that. It has five alarm sounds, so I'm reading it off the screen, three levels of volume, and a nine minutes snooze option. I've never used a snooze option. Well, I did years and years, or decades ago, I used snooze, and I've never used it since because I just kept pressing the snooze. So, I moved to... I moved the alarm clock away from me because I knew what I was going to be doing. I'd be going <laughs> like that all day. So this one, it can project the actual image of the clock or the time of the clock onto a wall. And I thought, ah, oh, that's a little bit different. I thought, yeah, you might find that one interesting. It has FM radio, like I said, dual alarm. It's a USB. It actually, you can USB charge your phone on it. Yes, didn't know that, did you? And you can switch it from 12 o'clock to 24 hour clock if you want. So with that, right, let's get her out, shall we? Uh, the best way to do that. So it comes with a plug, which is nice. Comes with a USB to USB Type C connection, and that is for powering up the clock. And I've had a measure up, and it's approximately 1.4 meters long, which is a nice good length. Comes with instructions, which, by the way, are all in English. So there's no foreign languages. You might think, well, there's a lot of information on there, but it's all broke down for you. So, for instance, diagram is the first part, timer settings, and then we have. FM sleep mode and setting up your projector, setting up your alarm clock, and then on the other side, we have things like display brightness settings, frequency asked questions, warnings, and FCC statements. So your usual stuff. So it's not too complicated. And also we have the, the actual unit itself with an aerial, a cabled aerial or wired aerial, you know, depends what you want to call it. So let's have a quick look on the back. So we have, from right to left, we have your two alarm settings. Like I said, you can do two different alarm settings. So it has three different settings for your sound or audio. So one, two, three. Quite stiff, actually. We have a volume control for the radio and a brightness for the actual screen. And we have USB Type-C connection on the back, and that is for powering this unit up. And then on the side, left-hand side, or depending which way you have it, we have a USB for charging up another device. So, for instance, your phone. So you don't need to use another plug, which I thought was a really good idea. Nice little stand. That looks like you can actually remove that if you needed to, but I wouldn't recommend it. On the top, we have Select Radio. We have up and down, and that would be for changing your station, I'm guessing. We have a snooze button, and I would recommend you don't use the snooze button. I always put my alarm clock away from me, just so that I have to get out of bed. Once I'm out of bed, I don't tend to get back in the bed, unless I forgot to turn it off on my days off. We have a clock, and I'm guessing that will be to display the clock or not, and then because I haven't read all the instructions yet. We're going to have a look at play about. And then we have another one that looks like a clock, but I'm guessing that's a projector, because it has a projector on it, remember? And also, you can adjust the projector or projector to different angles. So you can do right down there, or right down that way. Press long press. Yeah, see? Long press. That's for that. Very good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a go at setting up. I want to see how easy it is to set up and obviously see what it looks like and if it actually works. Right, first things first, the instructions. Very nicely laid out, like I said earlier. Easy to understand and it's all broke down in sections. So any part you need to jump to, like the radio, how to do the radio, anything like that. Yeah, just look on there and it, it points it out really nicely. So I was quite impressed with the uh, instructions to start with. Aerial, like I said, it's just a bit of a cable or electrical cable and 
setting up the radio again was quite easy to do there is a downside though it can save up to 30 different stations but you can't choose the stations it saves so if you don't get the station you want the only way you can do it is to reset it and then go through the settings again on the radio and see if it pops up fingers crossed and also you can't configure it say for instance I've got it set at the moment on station 1 which is radio 2 let's have a quick play I've got it on on mute at the moment I would rather be wearing a helmet than a wig, that's for sure. <laughs> that's full volume that was. So yeah, it's quite loud. Yeah, that's full volume. Uh, to go to the next one, just press the up or down. So number two. Number three. I could only, or it could only find four FM radio stations in this area. Well, that one's a bit crackly. FL. Might be the interference from my computers. Yeah. Number five. Six. Seven. And then back to one. Let me put that on mute. So that's the radio. Like I said, it's easy to do. If you need to reset it, all you need to do is hold the radio button down for so many seconds. And it will just auto search. Or you can do a manual search. But I tried the manual search and it just does one number at a time, which you know, is not ideal. And also I found if you hold the aerial up, especially in this room, because there's a lot of electronic equipment in this room, ideally you want it in a bedroom somewhere like that and set up the aerial properly. Like stick it to a wall or something like that to get the best out of it. But it does do a nice little search. It's found four so far, just by holding it up. Five. Like I said, I found se or it found seven for me. Don't forget, I've got it on mute as well. And back to one again. So one should be radio two. Let's have a listen. If you want to turn the radio off, it's just one press. Radio's off. Yeah, still got the clock. If you want to turn the brightness up or down. Again, it's that one there, not that one. That's volume for the radio. That's brightness for the actual screen. It's there. That's right off. And that is right on. And then you think in between. Which I think is fine, especially if you're going to use it in a bedroom as well. Now, onto the actual alarm. I haven't actually set the alarm. Well, I've set the alarm, but I haven't actually listened to it going off. Now, to turn the alarm on and off, just press the alarm button once and it's on and it shows you which alarm's on press number or the second alarm if you want the second one on press that once and that's on and that's set for six o'clock turn it off one press and turn that one off one press turn it on it shows one o'clock setting and it's gone past one it's nearly two o'clock in the afternoon now so turn it off now if you want to listen to the alarm sounds you need to press the up and down buttons these babies why the radio turned off if you press the up and down buttons while the radio is turned on, it will just change the frequency of the radio, or if you saved it, it will just change it to the next channel. So let's have a listen, shall we? So I'm going to do down arrow. That's, that's number two. Press it again. Sound number one, so we're going downwards, go upwards. Number four. So we're listening to that again. Uh, number five is the radio. Can't play radio for too long because you know copyright. Easy enough. Snooze button is it's a bit strange. This the snooze button is nine minutes. Don't ask me why, but they've just set it for nine minutes. Like I said, I don't know why, but it's nine minutes. And this button here is for changing it from a twelve-hour clock to a twenty-four-hour clock. Twelve-hour clock, 
24 hour clock. As for setting up the clock, well, firstly set it itself, it's virtually perfect, it's just like one minute out, so all I had to do was, once it's on clock mode, like that, is hold this button down, get the flash, you can move it up and down with them arrows there, or if you just want to do the minutes, again, up and down, yeah, just done. And yeah, we're on 10 past at the moment, or just gone. Click that again, set, that easy. Now on to the actual projector. I thought that was quite good actually, because I think to myself, it's found the wrong way. How do I do that? Well, I'm gonna show you, it's quite easy to do. So to turn it on and off is one press, and it comes in different brightnesses, starting with the lowest first, then getting a bit bright, and then, then full brightness, and then off again, yeah? Simple enough. Now, if you want to turn it the other way around, because it's backwards, say for instance, you've got the radio or the actual projector pointing that way, you might find the image is upside down, or around the wrong way. So you just hold the button in, so many seconds, and voila, it's around the right way. So, quality of audio, especially on the radio, I thought it was okay. I didn't expect it to be fantastic, but it was nice and clear, providing you got a good signal. Crystal clear, actually. Good focal, especially if you've got someone talking like we were listening to on Radio 2, something like that. It was very clear, easy to understand, no distortion whatsoever. Even at full volume, there was no distortion. Also, if you need to adjust the brightness, well, you know how to do that. Another good little feature, because some people want it, they want to be able to see it, but at night time when you're in bed, you don't want it blinding you, you know, it's keeping you awake because it's too bright. So you've got an adjustment like that. And also for the sound, for the alarm, you have three different settings, which we didn't go through, did we? That was on the middle setting. Let's just have a quick listen to the full one. Turn it down. Quite stiff. And four, four again. I prefer that one, sir, but it's, that's a bit loud. Do it again. One more thing to bear in mind. If you're listening to the radio and you set the alarm clock to go onto the radio to wake you up, it will only go straight to the last station you were listening to. So say, for instance, you were listening to a classical radio or something like that, and it's quite quiet, when you set the alarm to radio mode, it will go back to that one. So if that's quite quiet, it might not wake you up. Whereas if you're listening to something like heavy metal, <laughs> it's definitely going to wake you up. The other thing I found is, there was a bit of film on the bottom for the feet. And I thought, oh, it's a bit slippery. But I removed the uh, plastic, because it's only plastic strips, took them off, and it's nice and rubbery. It's still quite light, so you can move it about using the cable a little bit. But it's definitely more grippier once you remove the little film that was on the feet, which I didn't realise was sitting on there at the time. So uh, with that, Definitely gets my thumbs up for what it costs. Yeah, it's got a nice little curve. I like the fact that you can project the image of the clock to a wall or even to a ceiling and you can actually turn it around if it's around the wrong way for you. Yeah, definitely gets my thumbs up. Let me know in the comments whether it gets your thumbs up or not. So with that, as always, I will stick links in the video description in case you want to go and check it out. And if you like this video, consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you any money whatsoever. And click on the bell to get notified. So with that, if, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down and uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.